What's up guys, my name is Joey and in today's video we will be discussing the new play to earn game called Chain of Legends and basically determine if it's worth an investment for you or maybe me to make. So let's read the description on depraider.com guys. Chain of Legends is a free to play, play to earn, a real strategy game on the collectible NFT blockchain. So I'm not entirely certain what that means because real time strategy game, yeah, it can be literally anything guys. We see a couple of screenshots right here or I should say 3D in game assets, I believe this seems like a a mining area where you can supposedly build mining machinery in order to mine and then sell the assets in for their token most likely i could only assume guys because the information is not given to me so far we can see some type of a character right here but not a lot of information and not a lot of work they show within a depth raider replication and the website isn't that bad neither we see a logo we see these logo like it's a it's some type of an esport logo i'm not entirely certain if i'm a fan of that but that's a little bit subjective guys i would have liked to see a game logo and not a esports logo but they chose that logo guys so who am i to to say anything regard to that but that's just my opinion now if you scroll further down guys the story the story is not really important to me guys i want to see the game and i want to learn more about the game and their game mechanics play to earn nft game the hunger of the treasures high monthly income deflationary system like bitcoin me mechanism to control the price movements along with mining cycles to control supply and demand of the market now this is not really interesting guys like a mining mechanic like geez there's already thousands of examples out there on the blockchain currently already functional that has a mining component to the game so that's not unique guys i definitely do not like this aspect so far play for fun enjoy many aspects of the game various buildings and heroes with valuable upgrades nft weapons dungeons treasure islands epic battle system and many more amusing features i still believe that this is a little bit of a lazy approach guys because i would like to learn more about the game now this is what i like which see some type of short gif animation of a character training okay guys that's what i like to see and i would have liked the team showing us more regard all these elements okay like maybe even that we could switch through the different gifs that show like some type of a dungeon different weaponries different gear assets learn more about the treasure islands which is supposedly to be pvp guys so i would like to learn more about the game and the other thing that i find a little bit lazy and everyone is doing it basically i mean not every project there are a few gems but you Usually you see this like like many more amusing features. Yeah, I don't give a crap. I want to see the exact thing that you already thought about because otherwise it it tells me that like yeah and, and and more. Okay, like we'll figure that out later. We can't be bothered now. You need to wait for that. Okay, I don't like that approach. If that makes any sense, guys. Now let's go a little bit further down. This looks like Clash Royale, guys. I mean, if it's copied from Clash Royale and if that is the game, then yeah, it's it's a fun game mechanic. But we yeah we just have to wait it, wait it out, guys how the game is going to be played epic guild wars unleash your power fight with your guilds to conquer mass resources and rare items i personally like when a game project has guilds because a guild system just brings a lot more people towards your game project okay guys because you have these big groups jumping on your game and that results into a little bit of adoption around your game okay so i personally like it but a community member made a good point on this is that a lot of these major major big guilds with a lot of wills jump on these games and basically conquer the the entire scholarship ecosystem and then it turns the game in a little bit of a bad shape okay guys because a decentralized game becomes centralized by these girls and you basically have to play the game in order to you know gain a slavery wage which yeah it, it is an issue so i would like to see games have a little bit of a restriction on how powerful each and every single guild can become in order to remain a little bit of decentralization if that makes any sense guild system we also have to figure that out in how overpowered that is going to be yes or no trailer guys now i like trailers especially when we can see gameplay okay guys we always have to wait in order to see if we can find any any gameplay so let's not wait any further guys let's take a quick look i hope this is not just a cinematic but let's see
this was the trailer, guys. I am really not happy with this trailer because we can't see any real-time gameplay at all anywhere. We don't even see a prototype. The only good thing that is going on within this trailer is that we sometimes can see a little bit of characters, okay? We can see some assets. I'll mute the video real quick, like the Mighty Knight, Royal Maid. So we can see a couple of characters. They're not as vivid needed. Like, we, we can't even see what is going on because they use so much smoke and so much shit going on in their after effects video like jesus uh, calm down right like there's smoke everywhere guys it's like it's too much you can overplay your trailer by doing it like this guys like i have no clue what is going on whatsoever because there's like this grudgy smoke and ink going all over the place i do not like it guys just keep it simple show some gameplay and show why your game is unique and stands out from your competitors okay guys it's quite simple but this doesn't tell me anything guys like the journey to the past yeah and then what like it's just text guys metaphor crypto game yeah okay we can let our fantasy play to that the epic chain of legends the hunger of tre treasures so we we see some type of island asset right here but we have not a single clue what it's all about okay guys really bad trailer and i'm really disappointed by this trailer guys see king victories what do you mean show me how that works then or what your plan is on how that is going to work even concept art design is sufficient because i understand guys this project is early and therefore they're still heavy in development supposedly or hopefully but show me those development process already okay guys because if it's only the idea yeah sorry and I'm not interested guys you need to have a foundation before you're gonna ask for money or investments okay guys so overall really bad trailer we do see a couple of characters but yeah we also see a couple of assets like a training ground I suppose this is like it's really bad because nothing proved me that they're already heavy in development because I can't see that guys I don't see 3d design elements I don't see I don't see 3d design development I don't see any development at all basically so yeah that's just bad guys tokenomics one bit Billion. Yeah, that's usual for these type of games, guys. Development, 30 million. Community, 40 million. Okay, I would have liked for them to have a percentage. But anyway, they did it like this. Uh, we see marketing, 50 million of their tokens. That is really poor, guys. Marketing should be way higher than that. Like, at least this whole section, that's what I would do personally, should be dedicated towards marketing, guys. Because marketing for a project and company is just really important. The project needs to reinvest their money into the company. That's what I look for as an investor, okay, guys? The last thing that I want to see is that the team portion is bigger than the marketing portion. Doesn't make any sense at all for me personally, guys. So I'm also already not really happy with the tokenomics, guys. Game features, marketplace. Yeah, okay, of course you have a marketplace. That's the least thing that we would expect. Play to earn, of course. You are a crypto game, so that's also the least what I would expect we could see some type of dragon but you know every game has dragons these days guys also not unique what i'm missing and that's the key point that i'm going towards is why is this game unique and what is this game all about i still don't have a clue and we are already like what five minutes into this video i have no clue guys we can read a little bit about the team but i want to skip it real quick because i want to learn more about the team i see some type of characters that does look like clash royale so is it a clash royale game then what what do i ex what can i expect Expect. dungeons treasury okay it's an rpg type of game i still don't have a clue and that's the issue that i'm having this is their website on their website it should be clear what their game is all about what is their vision you know is it something like clash royale where you buy certain cards and you drop them in this real-time strategy game or is it something like the other real game i'm not really into mobile games guys so <laughs> bear with me on the lack of information guy there because i'm a little bit ignorant on that but anyway not really happy what i am happy with is their team section because this is what I like guys full names hyperlink towards the LinkedIn and social media accounts this is what every project should have at the bare minimum okay because I do not want to work to try to find out who these guys are working on this project okay guys and they make it simple okay they're like okay this is me this is my picture I can't change that that's my full name and here's a hyperlink towards my LinkedIn profile that is what I like guys I you know let's look up Ellie Gonabari sorry for my pronouncement guys uh, it's just just, you know, my pronouncement of names is just really bad. So just bear with me. Sajid University of Technology, Iran. Okay, I hope he's not based in Iran. Not because I don't like the country Iran. 
there's just some things going on there sometimes. You know, the, the government is a little bit conservative, if that's the right word to use. Uh, sometimes the country decides to just disrupt the whole internet of the country and just block it off. Okay, guys. So, uh, yeah, if they're based in Iran, that would be a little bit of a concern for me as an investor because what happens if the country again decides to do whatever? Okay. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a um, thing, but I don't think he's based in Iran because the other member. Oh, wait. He's also based in Iran. Mm, maybe they are based in Iran. Yeah, it's just something that I would look after, guys, because be a little bit careful of that, because I would have liked to see the company not based in Iran just because there are so much issues going on there. I believe it's not even that long ago, like two or three years ago, where there was like a uprising of the Iranian people against their government and there were, were these protests every single day on the streets and the government all of a sudden decided to just shut down the whole internet of the country and no one had access to the internet anymore. So yeah, it's just a thing to bear in mind, guys. Co-founder and CEO of Chain of Legends, co-founder of Crytek. Okay, that's four years and eight months. Okay, until now. So he's also working on Crytek. This is also something that I look after, guys. I hope that Crytek is like the parent company of Chain of Legends. That would make sense because otherwise I do not like it when people have multiple companies, guys, usually, okay? Because I just want them to be focused on one project at a time. And that's just, you know, my preference, basically. Co-founder, full stack developer, we click uh, January 22, seven years. Okay, so that's from 2015, executive chairman. Okay, so he has some understanding on how to build a company, which is good. I like that. Web developer, okay. Bachelor computer software engineering. So he has a knowledge about programming language which is, which is also good. Skills, Ajax, who uses Ajax these days? Okay, and uh, Angular, JavaScript, HTML, okay. Mm -hmm. Influences, Bill Gates, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's it's generic. It's not your pro league player that you want to see in a, in a project, but it's okay. It's not too bad at all, guys. And I'm already happy that they're out there, transparent, out there in the open, guys. I really, really like that. And, you know, it's just a big plus for that because otherwise, if a project, and I keep saying this, guys, if a project is not known, or let's say, differently if the team is not transparent if they do not provide the information like this team does like with linkedin hyperlinks then just stay away okay do not compound your risk by investing in these sketchy projects where the team members are not even known <laughs> doesn't make any sense for me personally guys Mehdi Ab abdi co-founder of crytech okay so that's also a um Crytek member, Islamic Az Azad University, Technical College of Meshed, Electronical Engineering, Master Degree. Okay, not a lot of experience, but he is Executive Officer at Crytek. So these guys know each other, which is also a good thing. They've been working together for already like a couple of years, and that's just a good thing. Chief Marketing Officer, let's take a look at Mahdi uh, Sakafi. I hope I really pronounced that right, guys. Please bear with me. I apologize for my, pronounce for my pronouncements. Also based in Iran, so I can only assume that the company is indeed in Iran. Which again, guys, be a little bit cautious with that. Not because these guys are not who they are. Like, they're probably not scammers, guys. They're probably not some sketchy dudes that you see often in these NFT space. That's not at all what I mean. What I mean is Iran can be a little bit disruptive because of their, you know, issues going on within the geopolitical uh, you know, issues. Uh, cryptocurrency, digital marketing. Okay. Uh, Chief Marketing Officer, Crytek. Okay. So the whole Crytek company is basically jumping on this project, which is, which is okay, guys. Crytek has been out there from what I have seen so far. Digital Marketing Manager at Shoparo for a year. Digital Marketing Manager, Kerengno also for a year. Yeah. Not a lot of information. And he has worked one year at each company and yeah, not really other experiences neither. So, overall it's not your triple a team that you usually want to look after okay guys but you know already i'm happy that they're out there in the open they do have some experience and they are working together for a couple of years already so far now let's take a quick look at the roadmap guys our strategy and project plan 2022 2022 quarter three so that's the first thing that i look at i want to see how far the roadmap goes because this is only quarter three 2022 that's not sufficient guys it should at least go 
towards like let's say 2024 okay because i want to know if a project understands what they're gonna do for the upcoming two years i want them to have an idea and a program basically for the upcoming couple years guys because otherwise it screams that they are just you know jumping on the idea that they're having together and then you know all of a sudden from the motivation and the nft hype combined together trying to launch their project without really understanding the market without really understanding what it takes to develop a game and without really understanding how everything combines together and to create a successful game okay uh, so it's a little bit of an issue when i see shallow roadmaps like these it doesn't tell me a lot guys guild system centralized exchange listing game version one with basic mining and play to earn features lens and mine so basically staking guys that's not really the game that i'm looking after quarter to 2022 so that should be around now more objectives in game and pve mode building heroes dungeon and etc yeah and etc it's just lazy just list them guys okay guys why on earth would you go and etc just write it down in detail so we can understand what is going on because what do you mean and etc we do not know what and etc means okay and i'm going hard into that often because i just believe that every project is responsible for giving us the sufficient information that we need develop website develop smart contract nfc nft sales so already like this is also what i dislike in the first quarter of 2022 they develop their website and the third thing that they do is nft sales develop website nft sales very bad sign guys because basically in the first week they developed a website and instantly instigated a nft sale very tremendous red flag guys i do not like this and the following thing is also an ido sale really bad game beta version this should be like here okay guys game beta version should be here so people can get an idea on what the game is all about you know investors want to see that you're serious about this project so we want to see game development going on but no that's not important guys because we want to sell you guys nfts and an ido sale and to sell our shit token towards you guys without a game known because it's not important nfts are important because you can make money with nfts these days guys yeah it's, it gets me going i hope you get what i mean with this because it's just really bad this is their white paper guys hopefully we learn more about the game in here chain of legends is a play to earn nft game where you can buy a land build c leg token mine and start earning game tokens directly sell tokens on exchanges i'm going to quickly going over it guys because i want to understand what's going on build your empire by creating stone and iron mines to generate resources that you need for your career build the barracks to train heroes explore, explore the world find dungeons destroy monsters and collect treasuries heroes gain experience and levels in every battle and adventure fight with other players to occupy treasure islands and collect treasuries and defend the occupied island from other players invasion fights are automatic users can set the formation of heroes before the fight and watch the replay okay it's an automatic battle system yeah that's what you usually see in these mobile type of gacha games guys i'm not personally a fan of that because i believe that gameplay should be fun and gameplay is king and you know i need to be in control somewhat of what i'm doing you are somewhat in control because you know you need to have a formation set ready you need to you know upgrade your characters outside of the battle so you have a lot of mechanics going on outside of the actual battle which is kind of okay especially for the mobile platform and i have to just be honest guys like the revenue of these type of games on the mobile platform is huge and it's mind-boggling guys i should always take that into consideration as well but i would have liked to see a little bit more pictures guys or gifs or videos or concept art or whatever uh, because i want to see that they're already working on it because this screams that it's just still an idea and they're trying to sell a an idea and that's 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 bad guys i want to see that they already have an understanding like i stated before otherwise i have my concerns there is a marketplace where users can trade resources heroes and lands on in-game marketplace that is cool but i wouldn't expect anything less guys free to play each user can get a free mine with low mining speed and capacity and also by a referral program okay so this should be a comma i'm just nitpicking guys but i believe that grammar because it happens here too grammar should be on point okay guys it's just a quality check for myself to see you know it, it, it's important they are this serious company so check your grammar by someone else to see if you have any grammar mistakes and yeah just you know it adds up in my mind okay guys so every single aspect already like the roadmap the lack of information around the game the overall information that i'm getting is that you know they don't really have an idea on what 
their project is going to be. They are just having this hyped idea. That's what I'm guessing. And they want to sell their NFTs in order to make money. Uh, and on top of that, when I see like there's not really a quality control uh, on their white paper or their text, then, yeah, it just adds up free to play. But I do like the free to play aspect, guys. I do like that because I believe that also every single project on the gaming NFT blockchain market should have a free to play mechanic going on because that just opens up a tremendous huge adoption potential for your game because free to play is basically like hey try us out if you like it you know you can go further and if you don't you can move on but it should have that guys because many other nft blockchain games are gated already okay guys and with gated i mean that they're already behind a certain paywall in order to even try out the game okay guys and so and most likely because nfts are quite expensive these days you have to pay a couple hundred dollars in order to just try out the game okay for many people that's just you know not something they're willing to do because they're they're like yeah what if i can't make money on it or what if i don't even like the game <laughs> i lost a couple hundred of dollars that i need for my other liabilities okay guys so i really dislike that i do like that they have a free to play option but they are just you know going on about this mining i don't know mining seems a really important game mechanic within this game and i, I yeah i personally don't like that guys be a little bit creative be a little bit unique because every game is a mining these days in the nft gaming space building guys let's take a look i'm not really interested in these different sort of minds i would have liked to see pictures this would be a very nice page if it had pictures or concept art okay guys same goes for lens now let's take a look also no pictures guys you might ask yourself like hey isn't the information the text more important than the pictures and it's not guys because I can write this too, you can write this too, and it doesn't mean anything. What does make the difference is that we can already see some concept art or actual 3D element design, so we can understand and know and verify that they are indeed already heavy working on the project and basically heavy in development. But th that doesn't just seem to be the case, guys. Heroes, like, yeah, it's just some, what is this? Like, I don't care. I want to see how they look like. I want to see how they play like. For example, take Guild Saga as an example. I made a video about Guild Saga. The team is concerning because they are not transparent so I did not invest it in that game but their white paper was really good guys same for 9D NFT go to their white paper and you will exactly see the difference between a good white paper and a bad white paper because this in my opinion is a bad white paper guys marketplace is just one sentence not sufficient for your marketplace because you know are there any burning mechanics within your marketplace how is the whole entire monetization going to be is there a token that you need to earn in order to trade on the marketplace or how is that whole ecosystem system uh, going to work you know where are these marketplaces located are they owned by players or are they owned by the game or ai so you know it's not sufficient guys at all guilds also wow more content about guilds will be added soon so that you're already selling nfts your white paper should already be finished this is what gets me going guys this is another tremendous red flag because more content about guilds will be added soon you are already selling you are already into ideos this is so bad and it uh, yeah it gets me going because the market really needs to stand up against these practices guys proves me every single time how people think they can earn a quick buck and uh, they can because these nfts are most likely being sold their IDO is probably fully sold out as well because we are in this bubble guys you need to understand that the same happened in the internet.com bubble back in 2001 and prior to to that date everyone was investing in these shitty ass websites on the internet because internet was this new thing and every internet website was like doing double digits of return every single day and week and the same is happening with these nft blockchain space guys because every new project you usually see a spike and then it just dies out so within the initial spike yes you can earn a lot of money but eventually that is going to change because the market is going to mature up that's what i believe maybe i'm naive hopefully i'm not because hopefully as more and more people get burnt each and every single day as sad as that sounds it is needed to actually mature up the market basically result in that people have more criticism towards a new and upcoming project and you know projects eventually have to scale up and do better quality and better work on their project launches guys developing a website developing smart contracts nft sales is already done quarter 2022 quarter one nothing about the game guys they made up a website it literally like take all this out of the equation okay just look at 2022 quarter one just take these three things develop the website developing smart contract and then they sold 
old NFTs. In that order, guys, please let that sink in. This screams cash grab more than anything else, okay? It's so bad, and I really dislike this practice, and I really dis dislike it overall free to play, yeah, okay? I don't even care anymore, to be very honest. I also went to the Chain of Legends, supposedly official YouTube channel, because it has 203 subscribers, but they don't have any videos or information listed on the channel, guys. 9th of January, 2022, but I would have liked to see some gameplay or trailers or development uh, videos or whatever that might be so we can learn more about the project but we can't guys so it is already turning a little bit bad but let's look at their discord channel maybe their things change a little bit around 7,000 members guys yeah that's also not a lot guys so let's take a look at their announcement tab because the announcement tab can change my whole perspective I would say but you know their white paper was really bad so I'm not entirely certain of that but usually what I want to see now is heavy game development okay I want to see that they are sketching drawing their game design elements and turning that into real 3d assets backed by code okay guys I want to see that partnership announcement not interesting guys winners so that's a giveaway if you watch more than one video on my channel you know that giveaways are just be S to the fullest guys it doesn't make any sense airdrop also not interesting sold out so this is a shilling post guys cobalt boxes my goodness where is their development guys sold out again sold out boxes boxes sold out sold out boxes guys you get the idea stay away from this project it is BS okay they ruined it for themselves and I'm calling them out guys yeah maybe they might be very serious guys that are working on this game with a very big vision but I can't see that anywhere guys the only thing that I can see and remember they are responsible for the information that they give towards me but the only thing that I can see is dollar signs in their eyes okay they're just trying to sell their NFTs they are only trying to sell their token they're only trying to shill their token okay they're only trying to create FOMO they're only trying to get more people on board to buy their stuff and I'm gonna and I said it guys in my first video I'll be calling them out because I believe that this is a shit project I believe that you should not invest in this project project because I believe you are most likely going to lose your money on this project okay but yet again that is just my personal opinion because these you know these I already know it my inbox will be full again but yes I will be calling you guys out too if the people behind this project is watching this video your project is shit you need to stand up you need to be ashamed of yourself because there's not even like any gameplay footage not even a picture okay not even a concept art design worked towards a 3d design element let's take an example guys i always use this example let's look at the announcement tab from ember sword okay guys they probably had a work in process wednesday again here look at this look at this guys concept art okay like a visual for concept art drawings okay like very unique stuff tech test they're testing their technical uh, branches a different type of buildings uh, let's look up i can only learn more about assets guys here like sketches sketches let's continue guys here a mood board for a total level design with different 3d created again guys assets with a concept art like hey this is supposedly how the level design should look like this is the result this is what the monster or creatures could be found on this type of biome or whatever that might be this is what i would like to see guys but yeah we can't find any of that in chain of legends because they only want to sell their token guys they only want to sell their nfts it's bad and it looked a little bit promising i guess because the team was transparent they aren't really trying to sell their nfts on their website and with with that i mean that you know there's not like a flashing button like hey buy our nft or like a big banner stating when their pre-sale was going live i can't find these things so that is good but yeah the rest is just bad also the tokenomics guys team portion is higher than marketing doesn't make any sense whatsoever in my opinion should be the other way around at least uh, the trailer like what the hell is going on with that guys like a bunch of smoke and, and things going on all over the place which just disrupt the whole visibility and the clarity of the whole trailer guys I do not like it so yeah overall again guys I would not invest if I were you but that is just my personal opinion I'm not a professional investor by any means guys like I always stated again I always have to put out that lousy disclaimer anyway remember guys be a leader in this space and do not be a sheep guys peace out